Now for a loving kindness meditation. This is a script written by Sharon Salzberg. You may keep your eyes open or closed, whatever you prefer. This meditation is based on our ability to nurture and grow an orientation of goodwill, inclusiveness, and connection. We will relate to ourselves in a different way, remembering our strengths and capacity to care. We will relate to others in a different way, recognizing how interconnected all of our lives are. Even though our more habituated tendency might be to remember the things we've done wrong and the mistakes we've made, the things we regret, we can consciously shift our attention to include the good within ourselves and so too others. This is not an exercise meant to deny that anything is wrong or regrettable, but if we look at somebody and we only think about the mistakes they've made, then a tremendous sense of self and other, us and them, can be reinforced. Whereas if we include even one good thing, if we can think of it, then a bridge is built so that when we honestly and directly look at what's difficult, it's more from a stance of being side by side rather than across a huge gulf of separation. The power of the practice is developed through the power of concentration. So gather all of your energy behind just one phrase. And if you find your attention has wandered, see if you can let go of the distraction without judgment and come back to repeating the loving kindness phrases. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Begin with yourself. See if you can think of one good thing you did yesterday. It may not have been very big. Maybe you smiled at somebody. Maybe you listened to them. Maybe you let go of some annoyance at a slow clerk in a store. Maybe you forgave yourself for not saying something totally correctly. You were generous. You tried to meditate. You thanked a bus driver. It's not conceit or arrogance to consider these things, but it's quite nourishing, replenishing to take joy, delight in the good that moves through us. Say to yourself, may I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. And if at any time, whether with ourselves or someone else, we can't think of something good, then there's another reflection that we can do, which is simply to recall that all beings want to be happy. Now think of someone who has been of help to you. This person is known as a benefactor. Maybe it's someone who has been directly generous to you or kind. Maybe they inspired you even though you've never met them. Call to mind a benefactor. See an image of them. Say the name to yourself and begin to offer the phrases of loving kindness. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Now we'll offer loving kindness to a friend. You can start with a friend who's doing well right now. They're enjoying success or good fortune in some aspect of life. See an image of them. Say the name to yourself and offer the phrases of loving kindness. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. And then a friend who's having difficulty right now. They are experiencing some kind of loss or pain or fear. Bring them to mind. Say the name to yourself and offer the phrases of loving kindness. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Think about a neutral person. A neutral person is someone we don't strongly like or dislike. Maybe it's somebody we just met. Maybe it's someone who plays a certain role in our lives, like a checkout person in the supermarket, 
a bank teller, or our dry cleaner. The kind of person we tend to look right through without recognizing that here too is someone who wants to be happy, just as we do, who deserves to be happy. If someone like that comes to mind, visualize them. You may not know their name, but you can get a feeling for them and then offer the phrases of loving kindness. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Now to someone you find difficult. We usually begin with someone who's only mildly difficult for us. Someone we find annoying or irritating. We don't begin right away with the person that's hurt us the most in this life. It's common to feel resentment and anger, even towards a mildly difficult person. But we undertake this practice in the spirit of adventure. What happens when instead of going over and over our old grievance, we pay attention to this person in a different way, wishing they could be free, could be free of some of the suffering that binds them, wishing they could be filled with the spirit of loving kindness and compassion. So if there is a difficult person comes to mind, visualize them. Say the name and see what happens as you offer the phrases of loving kindness to them. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Each time we include someone, we realize that we can experience the power the force of kindness, of love beyond our preferences. The phrases of loving kindness are big enough to capture the immensity of life. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Lastly, we include all beings everywhere. This is an expression of our capacity to connect to and care for all of life. So open your heart and begin with the phrase, May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. All beings, all creatures, all individuals, all those in existence, we connect to the boundlessness of life, so many life forms. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Notice if this loving kindness affects you for the rest of your day. And as we end and bring our practice to an end, I invite you now to bring your palms together at heart center in the Anjali Mudra. Once again, you may look down or close the eyes as you turn inward to seal the practice. We'll seal the practice with the sound of Om. You're welcome to chant along or to listen. Let us all exhale together. Inhale. Uh, We bow to the goodness within us and with all beings. In gratitude for this time to practice, to turn inward, to bring more balance and harmony within. Namaste.